Hey there, in this quick video, I wanted to share a tip with you. Um, this is something really useful that will save you a lot of time, I guess. And uh, I think this is my time now to share this tip with you. So this is a quick example that I've got. Uh, I got a grid with a mountain and a scatter on top of that. And now if I play the timeline, it will start to be a bit annoying and a bit awkward because the point numbers will change on each frame because we got the mountain. Um, so all the uh, polygons and all the primitives will be different because it's moving in a 3D space. So that's why the scatter will be a bit different. So maybe it can be interesting if you start to unzoom, we get something, I don't know. But th this is not what we want, definitely. So there is two ways to avoid that. Uh, we can just get rid of this copy to point now and hide the time shift. Uh, so basically, we're gonna unkey that and we're gonna get uh, a freeze frame. So nothing really fancy. I just got that. And now I'm gonna switch the scatter just below the time shift. And yeah, same. We don't have something moving because we just freeze the frame. And now we're gonna add the point D from. So this is a really, really useful node. It's not really hard to understand. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you have three inputs. The left one will be your effect which is freezed. The middle one will be your geometry, which is going to be freeze as well. And the last one will be your deformed geometry animated. So nothing freezed anymore. So yeah, let's plug this under the mountain. The middle one will be on the time shift and the scatter will be on this one. And now if I'm playing the timeline, yeah, it's working perfectly. We still got the scatter. We still got also the mountain the animation and the grid. And yeah, it's working perfectly. But I wanted to mention as well that the point deform is not 100% accurate. So you might want to change some settings there. But you can also use an attribute in Triple H, which is going to be definitely more accurate. I need to plug that on the freeze effect and this one, the right branch, on the deformed geometry. But now, if I'm just displaying this node, I've got an error saying that I don't have the source prim attributes. I only need to go on the scatter and output those two attributes. And now if I'm playing the timeline, yeah, it's working perfectly. And I wanted to show you quickly uh, the difference between the point deform and also the attribute interpolate. I need to, yeah, just zoom on this one. So you see, this one should be sticked on the uh, geometry, but it's not. But now if I switch to, to the attribute interpolate, yeah, it's working perfectly. And this is what I wanted to get. So yeah, just pay attention. You can use those two nodes. This one needs to get the source prim and the source prim UV and the point deform will be based on the topology. So yeah, make sure to also keep the same topology, the same number of points and the same number of faces. Otherwise it's gonna be a bit tricky. And now I can just plug the copy to points right after the attribute late and boom, this is what I got. And yeah, it's working. And this trick can be really useful as well on this kind of situation. If I put this mask uh, just right after here, so you will see the colors will be a bit different. So if I start move, maybe zoom on those yellow cubes, yeah, you see the colors is changing because the noise is based in a 3D space. And because we are doing the noise um, after on the deformed geometry, um, so yeah, the color will be uh, different. Uh, so if I put this mask right after the scatter, so on the freeze, FX uh, and I'll now display the copy to point. I'm zooming on the yellow cubes. Yeah, uh, it's working great. So yeah, keep in mind that you can do a lot of things with this trick and uh, the attribute interpolate is definitely more accurate. Uh, my last tip will be to uh, don't waste a lot of time to do your effects on a static um, geometry. I don't know, maybe 90% of your case, you will do it on something that is going to move. So yeah, uh, do it directly on that. And uh, you can just add a mountain. Um, if it's working on a mountain, it will work all the time, I will say. So yeah, uh, that was my tip. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. And uh, don't forget to leave a like and uh, leave me a comment if you find that useful. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care of you. Bye.